outside now at the production of Seki. Is that yeah, correct? Seki, you're Seki correct, dance correct. dance drama. Mm -hmm. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Seki is directed by Yibo Koko. Yibo is um, known as a a director. Well, for now he's a director. Basically, he learned directing in his final year in Uniport. We are schooled. He read theater arts. We are schooled. He's my senior in theater arts. And as a matter of fact, here he's directing Seki. And I am involved. So what we're doing now, this is pre-production. Origin of Seki started with um, the owner of the play, that's uh, Mr. Yibo Koko. Um, it started when, 21 years ago, while he was still in school and he got this idea about a dance that has to that has to do with his own culture so he started with his own personal group that's Ips Assembles and from there he gathered um, a group of young talented male and female and put the story together and that is the result of what we're seeing today <laughs> We do our thing, you know, the water dance. You see how I masculine them. You see how they, they do it in the drum and then they play with knife and then they take the dance, the men with their waist. You know, second now, uh, second as we call them for our language in rivers, second now dance. Very interesting. When you see the way the men and the women they do, I go, no, say yes, now second indeed. <laughs> Rivers possess with great immeasurable heritage. The white sand beneath the trees at the shores reflects the beauty of the sun. The oysters and periwinkles at the river banks celebrate their possessions with glamour. The Okolama rivers, the habitation of Otobo, the great hippopotamus, and the dwellings of Gogo Golo, gods and goddesses at the mouth of the ocean. There, we heard voices. Voices upon the waters with harmonies like songbirds, unraveling songs of ancestral pride and heritage that tell the stories of gods and men. <laughs> Rattles in consonance with rhythms upon the rippling waves. Songs and colors unknown to mankind. With masquerades that possessed our memories. Now we have come home with songs of yesterday. Songs and dance steps that trace our footsteps from many migrations back to our roots and pride. We have come home with the wealth of the rivers. We have come home to our noble and great proud heritage. We have come home to our home of cultural aesthetics. Great pride and timeless wealth. <laughs>
and called it the top. Do you know how man made his contact with his spirit before? Oh, I will tell you. Two fishermen went out to fish. In search of fish, they had drunk, and from everywhere they saw mystical powers performing. They came back to the villages and showed the people the steps. <laughs> That became the Ibri, the Boa Seki. You will see. All of those things they saw by the river bank, on top of the river, inside the river of the river span. It is the market day, a chosen day by the chiefs and elders. And the people shall gather. And our masters shall come out in their beautiful colors to entertain the community, to placate the gods for more fishes, to harvest in our kingdom. I was the lead vocalist male uh, who harmonized with the lady. And then I was also the, the, the king, you know, who graced the occasion to, to herald the displays that we had on stage. Okay, so I'm royalty, I'm one of the queens. It's actually about time we embrace um, culture. I mean, the world is revolving. Everybody seems to be tracing, going back to their roots. Well, when I was growing up, it was something you must learn how to do because you go out to, to functions with your parents, you must dance. But these days, our children, mm -mm. I'm not sure it's, it's what they want to do, but since this Seki, amazingly, my daughter, immediately will get home, she's like, mommy, you have to teach me. And she ties wrapper every morning now to shake her bum. So yes, I will start teaching them. And I think every parent should, especially from the Niger Delta, let's build our culture back up. Let's believe in who we are. Let's lift our people up. Only we can do it. And I think it's time we start doing it. <laughs> Seki experience has been wonderful because I learned a lot of things based on dancing, choreography and everything, how to coordinate your cast and crew. Seki is like a, a traditional dance that has to do with the Niger Delta culture. I love to dance yeah. and then the way these guys were dancing in sync with the beats with their body. It was yeah. just beautiful, completely artistic, nice. It was overwhelming. Like, I, I can't wait to see 
the whole show again. I don't know when you'll be aired on TV. Please tell us when you'll be aired so I can I can tune in and watch. <laughs> is about the culture of the rivers people culture and tradition of the rivers people so it is all about what rivers have so it, it goes beyond the dances it go beyond the costumes like it is a cultural belief of the people You know, the whole tap dance originated from Rivers. Okay, yeah, so you watched it and you saw it. You saw the dances of the masquerades. Yeah, the whole Igbui thing. That is what we now call the tap dance. costume and the dance amazing um, I don't know if I'll call them the masquerades the one dancing with the cutlass and everything that's dangerous actually don't try it at home Excellent uh, performance, very electrifying use of costume, use of space, use of sound, interpretation, color. Yeah. You know, uh, what you call the theatricals was, was awesome. Aesthetics at the highest level. <laughs> takes you back to your early beginnings and, and reminds you that there's still a lot to be done. Oh, I'm happy, I'm relaxed. Thank God for everything that all went well. Uh, what we saw here tonight is the true definition of total theater. Uh, you cannot take extricate any part of the performance. It is whole, it is complete, and it is total. I played a king, one of the kings of the amplets, or should I say the community, that just that listened to the narrator. 
tell the story of Seki. It was quite interesting. I, ah, the, the colors, the, the costumes. This, this was just different, you know. Uh, we have so much in our cultural heritage that it is quite refreshing to see Yibo Koko who has delved into the depths of this, this, uh, this, this dance from Okrika and he has made a universal uh, piece of it. Uh, and that, that is very encouraging for the industry. So we need to maintain this and not just that um, unfortunately our culture is almost go going extinct um, we need to sustain it so that we can have something we can pass on to the younger ones a lot of people who have not seen this will say wow it's like magic and don't forget it's a comparison between the tap dance the european tap dance and the dances from the niger delta area and you can see the similarities of the tap dance and when you watch those uh, masquerades display including the the sound of the music it tells you quite a lot that um, so much was stolen from Africa. Facts are really cool and um, when you go through all of this and then you see people get excited so it becomes it affects you infects you effect infect I mean yes yes it, you get infected with it. The original idea before this was to well, we're supposed to be traveling abroad uh, next year. So this is just a test run. Especially we didn't have we have still images, but we don't have motion images. So the idea for this time around is to capture motion images and videos so that we can now edit and send abroad. <laughs> 